Oh yeah. yeah. But the bats had the bats actually had a great mystique about them too. So I, I remember one of my favorite memories of the bats was nineteen I think with Tom nineteen eighty one when we went to the Aspen Rugger Fest. Whenever <laughs> whenever the bats showed up in Aspen. Um, you know, there, there were teams from all over the country. There was something about the bats. We'd walk around with bat pins, and people wanted that. And we'd be handing out bat pins in the, the old, in the Jerome Bar, and people want everybody wanted a bat pin. And he was sort of, we were sort of this mystical team from San Francisco. Who knows what was going to happen? <clears throat> and I remember that year in particular because Aspen had a great team that year. They had a coach yeah, from Scotland or something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they were very excited about their team. And we had, we beat the Old Blues in the semifinal, in the final game. In the square there in Aspen, five thousand people all around the thing with that with some announcer that was just driving us out of our minds. Yeah, he was talking about the how great the Asp, the gentlemen of Aspen were. We had to hear that a hundred times. And who were these crazy guys from San Francisco? We went out and beat their butts. It was one of the great yeah. one of the great games ever. Well, uh, and but the bats had a mystique wherever they went around the United States in that time, as being this sort of eclectic, you know, group of guys who would stay out till two in the morning and then somehow get on the field at eight o'clock the next day and beat the, and beat the hell out of the other team. And that was great. 